Definitely would give Gordon Ramsay or Emeril Lagasse a run for the money, and I guarantee neither of them can fish, so. Yep, hold it's a grouper. The that black. might be a keeper black grouper, Brian. Heck yes. <laughs> you gonna net it? Or no, gaff no, it? No. no. No? You can't gaff it, we don't know how big it is yet. He's big, he's big. Get him in, wait, grab the gills, grab the gills. Woohoo! He's good. He should be good. That Whoa, should be a keeper nice black grouper. One, Dad. Good job. 27 inches. We're eating grouper. That's what we came here for. Right <laughs> there. there. That's, the That's what we came here Hold for. Them. Hold them. It, but this one, this right here, see where my hand is? Otherwise you're gonna get his gills. I've been soaking a bait for a long time, but it paid off. There you go. Mom, what? you're eating fish for dinner. Look, Yay. it could Jeez. Get him, babe. Yeah. Good, double Good job. It's green. No! Sorry. No! Same one. All the way up. Okay, well, well, if you're catching more eels, that means you're on a good reef, so that's a good sign. At least we're on a good reef. I think he's on, he's on, he's on. He's there, he's there. Yeah. Go, Dad, go, go, go. There yeah. you go. That's the same fish, isn't it? Same fish. Oh yeah, Number that's a big two. Old black. This is his big brother. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, he's okay. Wait, what's uh oh? It looks like he's rocked. Yeah. He did rock me. He'll come out eventually. You like what? He'll come down there? He'll come out. Wow. Oh. Fish. Fisher's hooked up on the bottom rod. <laughs> I'm close. It's a black. You're, you're off it's the black? bottom fish. Yeah. Yep. There you go, buddy. No, it's an eel. Oh yeah? No! It's an eel. <laughs> Big eel. False alarm! It's another Mori eel. I don't think Victor's excited to do that again. Grab a rag or something. Holy Whoa. crap. Is he as big as the last one? Oh yeah. They're a little smaller. Those things are crazy! Yeah, Dad, I saw that. That's a good one. He's out of the rock. Keep him up, keep him up. That's a good one. Yeah. Ryan got him on. There you go. Run like the other two. Oh, it's a black. Oh, no, it's a red. It's, it's a red. It's a keeper. It's a red. It's red. Here, here, I got you. I got you. Come, come, come. Keep a red grouper. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. You got your black. Now you got your red. Wow, oh, Brian. Is he big enough? Yeah. Oh yeah, only 20 inches. Let's see, he's yeah. close. Oh, you hear him? Listen to him. Drumming. He's drumming. I'm telling you, he's the grouper number two species. These have to be 20 inches, and this guy is 22, so he is a keeper. That's two. That's two groupers. Nice. Go, Vicky, go. What you got, Vic? Oh my Good God, Fisher, sure that's well, your tangle, your tangle. Get on closer, get him a little closer, a little closer. What I tell you? Yes. Oh yeah, I Brooke. told you, was it worth it? Way to go, Brooke. Oh! oh! It was oh worth it. Oh my god. It was worth Hell yes. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Look at this giant thing. Victor, pick it up. Victor's been trying to catch a giant black grouper all day and he finally did it. This thing is giant. Nice job. Thank you. This is the grouper probably that's been breaking me off all day. We've all been yellow tailing and uh, me and Brian have been dropping down some big baits and just getting our hearts absolutely broken. He got two nice grouper and then we finally got this beast and I guarantee you there's plenty more down there. Cool. And and he just said he wanted to leave. <laughs> Last bait down and he caught that. Mm -hmm. I got oh, something Fisher's too. on, Fisher's on, go, go, oh, Fisher's 
you're good. I told you I got something. You're good. You're all good. Put that dragon yes. all the way up. There you go. Stand up. Stand up. Oh, get that key out. I mean, get that hook out of the way. You're up. You're out of the rocks, dude. You're good. Oh, you're gold. Oh, you're fisher. good. Now you're just good. enjoy it. Now just enjoy it. Oh, it has my meat missile in it. Oh, it's another black this fisher. Is, this is Fisher's oh, redemption. He caught a moray eel the first time. This is his redemption. Yay, Fisher. Yeah, Fish. You're almost there. You're almost there. Missile. Yeah, baby. That's another a nice, nice one. one. Holy mackerel. Oh, Get him, my Vic. Gosh. Grab him, Victor. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Another legal one. Oh, yeah. Another legal one. Here. Man, this spot is. Yeah. Good job, Fisher. <laughs> nice. Thought the first one was one of these, but it was an eel. Glad to make up for it. I caught this one and uh, I got hooked up as soon as uh, Victor did, but I got tied up. So as soon as we got his grouper in the boat, I untied it and pulled this one in. Yeah, Fisher was all tangled up in Victor's grouper and we were like, Fisher, just get your rod out of the way, get your rod out of the way. Yeah, and you he... might be able to see me in the background trying to and fidget he, with my And he had, a grouper all, he had a grouper on the whole time. And it was a big cool. one. Oh no! Come on, go man! Good. Go, I feel like go, I'm gonna go. snap the rod. No, you're no, good. You're good. No, you're good. No. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah, you're good. All right. Mom said. No. Uh, <laughs> Is it yeah, me? Oh. <laughs> Well, Fisher caught an eel and then he caught a grouper. This is your initiation. Well, we caught four grouper today. Big black. I think this is Fisher's. This isn't even the biggest one. No? I don't know. Look at this thing! I said it. Brick, it's so big it doesn't even fit in the screen. Oh, that thing's heavy! <laughs> This video is actually a continuation of my last video where you actually see how we caught that trigger fish, that mangrove, and that hogfish. So if you guys haven't seen that video yet, it will be linked down in the description. I cooked those snappers and that trigger fish in the last video, but tonight I'm going to be cooking up the grouper. So I will meet you guys back in the kitchen. Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. Tonight I'm making grilled grouper, some roasted potatoes, and some broccoli. So let's get to cooking. So for my first step, I'm going to cut up my grouper fillets so they're all around the same thickness. I'm going to be placing them straight on the grill so I want them all to cook at the same time. I cut these about three quarters of an inch thick. I placed all my fillets in a Ziploc bag and now we're going to work on our marinade. First, I finally chopped up some ginger root. Next, I used a garlic press on about three cloves of garlic. I then added about a half a cup of soy sauce, about a quarter cup of honey, and squeezed the juice from one lime. I stirred it up and thought it was too salty, so I added a little more honey to mellow out that saltiness. I poured my marinade over my grouper fillets and mixed it up. I also decided to add some oil to the mix because I don't want these to stick to the grill. I stuck the bag in the fridge and then worked on my next thing, which is my roasted potatoes. Now I chopped up my potatoes into equal sizes, so again, they all cook through at the same time. I spread them out onto a baking sheet and I have the oven set at 375 degrees. Now to season them, I drizzled on some olive oil, sprinkled on some pepper, some salt, some garlic powder, and some rosemary. I put these in the oven for about 45 minutes until they got a nice crispy brown. Now for the broccoli, I drizzled on a little olive oil, sprinkled on some garlic salt and pepper, and then I poured in a little water, put the lid on, and then just let this steam. So our potatoes and broccoli are almost done cooking, so I'm going to start my fish now. I'm putting some oil on a paper towel, and I'm gonna oil up my grill, because the last thing I want is these fish to stick to the grill. Gonna do a nice quick run over the grill. Now I'm taking my marinated fish and just placing them right onto the grill. After I flipped the fish, I drizzled on what I had left of the marinade so that that flavor would really cook in. Do you see how much these are flaking apart? I was expecting grouper to stay together. 
much, much better than this. I am losing a few pieces through the grate, but it still looks delicious. It smells great. But I really was expecting it to stay together better than this. I'm actually quite surprised. Everyone has empty plates and we literally ate every single bite of food that was left. So let's see what everyone has to say. Everything was amazing. Um, I said earlier that the broccoli was hands down the best broccoli I've ever had. It's not an easy thing to make taste good in my opinion. I don't usually like broccoli, but it was delicious. The potatoes were really good and the fish was neat. Like I've never had fish grilled just on the grill and it surprisingly worked better than I thought you could grill a fish without a pan and it tasted really good. This meal was really good. I like the sauce you added into your fish. I loved it and the potatoes were really crispy and nice. How lucky am I? I'm in the Keys with my family for 10 days, being catered to by my daughter Brooke, cooking delicious grouper dinners, her boyfriend Victor, cooking delicious dinners, and putting us on the fish, both of them. Victor making the rigs, catching the bait, Brooke driving the boat, getting us anchored up on the right reefs, Catching mutton snappers and groupers like this, it doesn't get any better. I'm in heaven. Then to top it all off, this is our third or fourth fish dinner in a row, and it's just been, I mean, the freshest fish you can get, and Brooke grilled it. I've never had a grilled grouper before, but it is definitely a really, really good way to make it. It fell apart a little bit, but Brooke, I mean, being, you know, the experienced little chef she is now, she managed to salvage it, she whipped it up real good, and it was just a really nice sauce flavor, and it was just a really good meal. On it falling apart, it did fall apart a little bit, but it still worked out. I probably should have put it on aluminum foil, but I really wanted those grill marks, so that's why I didn't do that. But it actually fell apart more than I thought it was going to. It was actually a very flaky fish. The meal was phenomenal. I mean, I'm running out of adjectives to use for everything. has just been so delicious. And it definitely would give Gordon Ramsay or Emeril Lagasse a run for their money, and I guarantee neither of them could fish, so. <laughs> <laughs> just everything's perfect. Watch out, Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Mom, she's over here making pudding for dessert. What'd you think? Um, I'm spending time with most awesome people I know, catching awesome fish, cooking awesome dinners in an awesome house. I'm having a great time. And <laughs> Mother's Day is this weekend and it couldn't be any better. Thank you, everyone. Aww. <laughs> Well, I, I don't think I could end it any better than that. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like the video and also to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.